Good morning. Today you are going to learn about quadratic inequalities. And let's define first what is quadratic inequality. A quadratic inequality is an inequality of the form ax squared plus bx plus c less than zero, where a, b, and c are real numbers with a not equal to zero. The inequality symbols greater than, less than, or equal to, and greater than or equal to may also be used. So therefore, this less than here could be greater than, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to. So let's solve the following inequality. Example number one, x squared plus x minus six is greater than zero. So first we're going to look for its critical values. Now in solving for the critical values, we are simply changing the greater than to equal to. So therefore, this would be x squared plus x minus six is equal to zero. Then you are going to solve this on any method that we had discussed. So for this, I will be using factoring method. So let's have the first factor, which is x plus 3. And the second factor, which is x minus 2, simply copy equal to 0. Equate the first factor to 0. Equate also the second factor to 0. So our x here is negative 3. And our x is also positive 2. But take note, this is not yet the solution of your inequality. These are your critical values. And you are going to plot this on your sine graph. Now, you are going to draw your number line. So, if you're going to look at your number line, the center is 0. And we all know that the center of your 0, the left there are negative and the right are positive. Now, plot the negative 3 as your critical values. Take the negative 3 this time as your center. Now, if this is your center, the left of this or the right are positive and the left are negative. The second critical value is positive 2. So, it's right are positive and its left are negative. Now, we are going to multiply the negative times negative. It gives us positive values. The same thing with this, negative times negative, it's positive. The center, we have negative times positive, which gives us negative. And positive times positive, it gives us positive values. So, to summarize this sine graph, okay, your number line, you plot your critical values, and we all know that there are three parts of your sine graph, the left, the right, and the center. So, let's have the left and the right. These are your positive values, and your center are negative values. So, we go back on your inequality. You have their greater than. So, for your greater than, you will be guided with the following. So, greater than, you are going to shade the positive values, meaning to say the left and the right. So, you're going to shade this. At the same time, greater than, we do not shade the critical value. So, therefore, we are going to leave the negative 3 and the positive 2 as your unshaded values or hollow circle. Now, let's have now the solutions. Take note that the solution should be your shaded part. So here, the shaded part of our sine graph are the following. Negative infinity to negative 3 and 2 to positive infinity. So let's proceed to our checking part. If you want to check if you are shading the correct areas of your sine graph, Okay, you are going to take any of the values on the left, the right, and the center. So here, I took negative 4, negative 1, and positive 5. And you are going to substitute this to your inequality. So let's have negative 4 squared plus negative 4 minus 6 greater than 0. Negative 4 squared is 16 plus negative 4 minus 6 greater than 0. 16 plus negative 4 is 12 minus 6 greater than 0. 12 minus 6 is 6 greater than 0 and it's correct. That's why if you go back on your sine graph, it's shaded. Okay, so center we have negative 1 squared plus negative 1 minus 6 greater than 0. 1 plus negative 1 
minus 6 greater than 0. 1 plus negative 1 is 0 minus 6 greater than 0 and it's negative 6 greater than 0 and it's not correct. So if you go back there, it's unshaded. Okay, third, 5 squared plus 5 minus 6 greater than 0. 5 squared is 25 plus 5 minus 6 greater than 0. 25 plus 5 is 30 minus 6 greater than 0. 30 minus 6 is 24 greater than 0, which is also correct. That's why it's shaded. Okay, now let's proceed to our second example. 3x squared plus 2x minus 8 greater than 0. Again, let's identify the critical values. 3x squared plus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0. So, we have 3x minus 4 and x plus 2 are as its factors is equal to 0. Equate both factors to 0 then solve for x so our first x there is 4 over 3 is equal to 1 and 1 third and the second is negative 2 so these are your critical values plot the critical values so we all know that your number line there we have three areas okay plot the critical values we have one and one third it's between one and two and negative two so we have three areas there the left the right and the center so we are going to be guided with the following so we have here less than so therefore less than we are going to shade the center so we will be shading the center then at the same time since it's less than we are going to shade the critical value so therefore we will be shading the critical values now our solutions here are the shaded part so therefore it's negative 2 to 4 over 3 now if you're going to look at your solution we are using a bracket because bracket signifies the critical values are part of the solutions okay let's proceed to our third example 3x squared plus 5x minus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. Now, solve for the critical values. Take it as quadratic equation. So, we are going to have the first factor, 3x minus 1, and x plus 2 is equal to 0. Equate the first factor to 0, at the same time, the second factor to 0. Then 3x is equal to 1. Your first critical value there is 1 third. And the second is negative 2. Plot the critical values to your sine graph. So we have 1 third and negative 2. Again, left and right and the center is negative. Now, be guided with this. So since this is greater than, if you go back here, it's the positive or the left and the right so you are going to shade the left and the right then at the same time we are going to shade this time the critical value so this will be shaded okay now the solutions so our first solution is negative infinity to negative 2 Take note, your negative 2 there is in bracket because it's part of the solution and we have 1 third to positive infinity. Again, your 1 third is in bracket form also since it's part of your solution. So that's all for today. Thank you so much. Grade 9.